Hello, I'm Terry from Skibbereen Heritage Centre and today I'd like to show you how to access thousands of genealogy records relating to West Cork on our website um, free of charge. Okay, so first thing to do is to uh, just do a simple search for our website Skibbereen Heritage Centre and it brings you up our homepage and there's lots of other information there but let's just start today on the graveyards database. So if you go into the graveyards page, there's a lot of information here. Um, now, essentially, there are two different types of information. There's graveyard surveys and burial registers. Um, graveyard surveys, as the timer implies, is a full survey of the graveyard, including photographs of the headstone and so on. And the burial registers are another matter. So let's start with um, the graveyard surveys. So the list of the places we did carry out the graveyard survey are up here at the top of the page. And if you go down to the bottom of the page here to this blue button, graveyards database page, you can do a search. Okay, so here we are the search page. You can just do this pull down menu here and you can see which are the registers and which are the graveyard surveys. And where there's both, it just gives the name. So let's just pick um, Affidown upper graveyard. Now let's leave everything else blank because we're just going to do a little tour of this graveyard. So you just do search. And this brings up everybody in Affidown upper graveyard, very large graveyard as you can see. Uh, so let's just pick one at random there. Um, say Thomas Baldwin died 1817. Click view. And here is his his memorial. Now you can hold the mouse over it and you can magnify up to see this beautiful chest tomb. The inscription is just over here and the information is below. But you can also have a look at where in the graveyard Thomas Baldwin is buried. If you click here, it brings you up the approximate location of the tomb. And if you want to keep touring the graveyard, just click next result and it brings you on to the next one. Now, this next one, there's no image available because when we carried out the graveyard surveys, we asked people to come forward with information about those interred in, in unmarked graves or uninscribed graves. So a lot of people came forward with information and this is one of those now. So it's an unmarked grave with all of these, the barries in it. And we know that because somebody was kind enough to come forward with that information. And you just click next result. And it brings you Thomas Beamish and again, Dora Ann, Samuel and Thomas. And you can look at the inscription here. OK, so that's touring a graveyard virtually. Let's go back to the search menu. And let's just do a search within the graveyards for a specific name, which you can also do. So we'll stick with Affidown Upper Graveyard. And we put in a common name in this area, very noble name, but a common name, McCarthy. And if you see this button over here, use sounds like, that's a very important button. So you tick that there. And what that does, it brings up all variations of McCarthy. Um, MAC McCarthy, MC, McCarthy, McCarthy, so on. So if you just click search, and there, all of the McCarthy's in that graveyard. So they're all McCarthy's, except if you see at the very bottom, Catherine McCarthy, is C-A-R-T-Y, and people aren't always buried under the exact name you're searching for, so it's a good idea to use the sounds like. And again, just click in there, and you see this beautiful memorial to Catherine. Okay, so that's the graveyard uh, database. Let's look at the burial registers. So back again to our West Cork Graveyards page. And um, burial registers contain um, lists and information on those interred in the graveyards that kindly made available to us by Cork County Council, which we're very grateful for, and we're digitising them over town, time. Now, they don't cover all periods in every graveyard, but what is available, hopefully, over the long term, we intend to make available to you, with thanks to Cork County Council. So, halfway down the page there, there's a list of the burial registers that we have available now, and we're digitising those as we go along, so keep an eye out, there's more. And if you go into Graveyards Database page, the same search engine, and here we go again. So this time, let's look at a burial register. 
So here we have all the burial registers. So let's look at, say, um, Alihi's burial register there. Again, you can click search and it brings up everybody that's recorded in that register. And again, you can open one there. And oh, very sad, a little baby, seven months old, uh, died in 1919. I wonder, was it Spanish flu? Michael Campbell. Um, but it gives all the information in the register here, but you can also click this button here, view register. And if you click that, you see the original register for Michael's death, registering Michael's death. And if you go up here, you can, whatever format you're using, whichever search engine you use, you can click the download button and it comes down as a PDF and you can download it and save it um, and keep that page of the register that shows your ancestors death recorded or burial recorded. Okay, so again, after Michael, you can do the same thing. You can just click next result and you can scroll through the graveyard like that as we did with the graveyard survey. What you can also do, we'll just go back to the search page. Again, we'll go to Alihi's burial register. Again, we'll click the very important use sounds like because we're going to search for a name now. And we put in a name that's quite common on the Faroe Peninsula, a very noble name too. My mother was one, O'Sullivan. And we'll do a search. And here we go. So it brings up O'Sullivan, Sullivan, Sullivan Brohill, Sullivan Cartour, all the pet names for Sullivan. So you can see how useful the uh, Sounds Like button is. And again, you can download those and keep them yourselves. So that's basically how to do a search. There's a lot of other information on the page as well. We go back to the page there now. Um, some of the graveyards, we have erected signs at them and there's uh, little pieces of, uh, little vignettes of history of them. Again, we'll go to Affidown because we're a bit fond of Affidown. We're fond of all of them really, but um, here you go. If you click that, it shows the sign that we put up there and also a history, a little potted history of that beautiful graveyard. Um, also on the website, on that same page, you could do video tours of various graveyards. Now, um, you just click down here, video tour, and that brings us to a Cora, tour of Cora graveyard, but we hope to be adding to those over time. So do keep an eye out on it. Um, so that's essentially what we have on our graveyards database page. Hope it's of use to you. But just before you leave the website, just go back to the home page because there's lots, lots more there. Um, in this news and articles page here, there's a lot of historical articles about the area. And under genealogy, you can also search for um, school records, state records, and so on, whatever else we, we have there. Um, so do keep an eye out. So I hope that was of some use to you and uh, thank you for your attention. Take care.